welcome you all students today we are going to learn about design features of language or we may call this topic as properties of language this topic is from the subject linguistics part 1 english code 102 this is our lecture number 4 we already have conducted uh, three lectures in this our lecture series program and this is lecture number 4 part 1 so without a further go, let's get started our today's topic. Design features or properties of language. Most of the material in this our lecture series program is taken from the book Atchison's Linguistics. And according to this book, the American linguist Charles Hockett pioneered the useful approach and made a list of design features, or we may call them properties of language, and considered whether these are shared by other animals. And through properties or design features, he has explained whether these design features or properties are um, possessed by other animals or these are only in human beings. So let's talk about these all properties or design features one by one. Here, number one, use of sound signals. According to Charles Hockett, that animals may communicate by a variety of means, mean to say they may communicate through gestures or other signals, but humans acquire their sound signaling system. It means to say through use of vocal cords. We use vocal cords for making sound signals for more effective way of communication. And this is certainly more effective communication than animals. Here is another property are design features of language and that is arbitrariness. We may call this design feature as Savabadid in Urdu or in Hindi. There is often recognizable link between actual signal and the message an animal wishes to convey. So when we talk about animals, for example, cat asks its back to warn off an opponent. So animals usually they make gestures for communicating or conveying their message like this cat it makes an arc when it warns off an opponent or an enemy but this arbitrariness is very different in human beings according to charles hockett in human language the reverse is true in the great majority of cases, there is no link whatsoever between the actual signal and the message. The symbols used are arbitrary. For example, human beings, they don't make, or uh, there is no actually resemblance between this word elephant and the shape of elephant. Like elephant is very different than the words E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. So this is actually language for human beings is arbitrary. But in animals, it is a totally different property. And here, according to Charles Hockett, number third property, a design feature of language is learnerability. Human beings need to learn language. However, in animals, the case is different. In human beings, there is a system of language and um, individually people, they learn a language. But in human beings, they do not have patterns or sophisticated way or a sophisticated or developed language. Thus, they need not to learn about it. However, the case in human beings is very different. Here is number four property of language and that is called Double articulation, or we may call it duality. Animals use vocal signals, have a stock of basic sounds, which vary according to species. A cow has uh, under 10, a chicken has around 20, a fox over 30 to 40. Most animals can use each basic sound only once. So vocal signals in animals uh, are different. For example, in cow... Uh, it has a different uh, sound signals or uh, sounds or stock of sounds. Chicken, it has uh, a different sound signals or sound uh, or a, a voice, we may, must say. Fox over 30 to 40 sounds. But this case in humans, 
is totally different. Human language works rather differently. Each language has a stock of sound units or phonemes, which are similar in number possessed by animals. The average number is between 30 and 40. So the average number of sound uh, signals are duality, means mean to say double articulation or articulation is 30 to 40 in human beings. So this is one of the property or design feature of a language. Number five property or design feature of language is patterning. According to Hawker, human language has a certain pattern. Mean to say we have certain patterns or developed patterns in language. Rather, or on the other hand, animals lack that system in them. So animals, they do not have patterns to follow. They are making their communication in different patterns. Number fifth, property or design feature of a language is displacement. And according to Hockett, unlike most other animal, human can discuss objects and events that are removed in time and place. Most animals can communicate about things in the immediate environment only. So animals, they only speak or make communication in the immediate environment. But this is ability of uh, human beings. They may communicate about the past or future. For example, books are written on the past. So they are actually making that possible, the communication about the past or about the future. This is known as displacement. Here, number seven, that is creativity or productivity. Humans use language to make this message more effective. The use of uh, figurative language, ATC. For example, how humans, they have productivity or creativity in language. For example, they are using figurative language like the ambassador is one who lies abroad for the good of his country. I mean to say an ambassador is one who is actually making lie statements or wrong statements in another country for the benefit of his own country. Or there may be another meaning. Or here is another way of expressing when someone has lost his or her wallet. I lost my wallet successfully. If anyone finds, please let the owner know the event. So the event, um, a displeased event is expressed in a very good manner or with the help of figurative language. So there is creativity or productivity like poems are created or the structures in uh, drama are for the fun. Languages used very differently are creatively. So this is called creativity or productivity. That is one of the properties or design features of language. Here is number eight and that is prevarication. Prevarication mean to say is the ability to lie or deceive. When using language, humans can make false or meaningless statements. So this is the ability only find or found in uh, human beings that we are able to make um, wrong statements in front of others or to deceive others with the help of language. This is an important distinction made of human communication. It is language as compared to animal communication, while animal communication can display a few other design features as proposed by Hawkett, animal communication is unable to lie or make of something that does not exist or have reference. So animals, they may not make wrong communication or wrong statement that they are unable to make, but human beings, they are actually having this ability. So these are actually the properties or design features which I have rendered. Thank you very much. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you.